In this screencast, we're going to look at modifying our theme to include our own style sheets to create our own variations. And the question may come up, well, why would we want to create our own variations when we could just modify the ones that are already existing in the theme? And it's a good question. And in some cases, it does make sense to simply make modifications to an existing style sheet. For example, we could go into the CSS folder and underneath sidebar, we could simply adjust um, sidebar right to give it a different margin here in the value for the content area and that's a simple change and we could do that right through the sidebar right CSS file without having to create a new style sheet and having to add it to the plist but in some cases it does make sense to literally create a new style sheet create a new plist item and essentially create a new variation for our theme and so I'll give you one example or maybe even two of instances where it makes sense to do that the first of which is the width option if we look in the settings for the lime theme we can find a few different content widths that are available and let's say for example that we wanted a very specific width of 950 pixels well it would be very simple to modify the 900 pixel CSS document we would just go into the CSS folder to width to 900 and then we would adjust all the 900 pixel values to 950 and that would work that would accomplish our goal but the problem is that later months later if we came back and we messed around with the file we may have forgotten that we made that adjustment and so we may open up the style variations see 900 pixels and think well why am I using 900 I can make it wider I can make it 950 we may have forgotten that we made that change and so it makes more sense to go ahead and create a variation ourselves specify it as 950 so there's no confusion and it's really not that difficult to do and so I figure it's it's a good instance of where you go ahead and do that yourself to create a variation so let's look at the process of doing that first thing I want to do is go into the theme contents and I want to duplicate this file so I'm simply going to right click and choose duplicate and then I'm going to change the name of the copied file to 950 pixels and then I'll remove the copy so now we have a width of 950. I'll open up that file and I will change all of the 900 pixel items to 950 and I can do that with a find and replace I can find 900 and replace with 950 so I'll do replace all and now all of our values are set to 950 pixels so I'll do a command s to save and close out the file. So I very quickly created a new style sheet and adjusted the values and now all I need to do is let the theme know that the new style sheet exists and I do that with the plist. So let's go back to the theme plist file and underneath the variations I need to include a new variation. So let's drop down underneath RW style groups then even further into the specific style and that is the content width and so I need to go into the group members and this is the list of the members that currently exist so the current members are the um, all of these width style sheets except for the one that I've added and so I will simply go into the group members item and then the simplest way to create all of the information we need is by duplicating an existing um, member. And so I'll just choose the bottom member here, number five, right click and choose duplicate. That goes ahead and names it with a new number, which is number six, and that's perfect. And now I just open up that and I've got all the information I need here. It's just up to me to simply adjust the values. And so first I wanna adjust the name. And so I'll double click into the name field and change that to 950 pixels. The type is style sheet and that's correct so I'll leave that as is and then I'll drop down into the files and simply adjust the file name and so that again is width 950 pixels dot CSS and it's as simple as that I've simply duplicated an existing member of the group and then just customized the details of that member so now if I save the plist, if I go back into 
page inspector into the content width, I will find my value here at the bottom. Now if I wanted to go into the trouble of ordering this and sticking it between 900 and 1000, I could do that um, by um, renumbering these, but that's you know a bit of trouble for, for nothing um, that important. So I'm just going to leave it as is. And if I select my 950 option, that increases the width to 950 pixels. And I've essentially created a new, brand new variation of my own for the content width option. Let's look at one more. We've got the header background. And these are all different background options. And you might want to make, you, want, you might want to keep all of these available for future use. And, um, and so instead of replacing um, a texture or um, a background with your own we could essentially create a brand new file just like we did with the width file and so let's go back and do that I'm going to go into the um, header folder and then I would duplicate let's just take a duplicate of this textured item and so I'll find one called textured here's textured one and so I would simply duplicate and then since I've got textured 1, 2, and 3 I will make this textured 4.css and then I would open this up and this simply links to an image and so I would create my own image place it into the images folder of the theme and then change out this to match my image name. So perhaps I named it custom.gif then I would just make the change there, save, and then add it to my plist. And so we'll go back into the plist. Let's jump back up to style groups and then group 2 is the header background. And So I'd go into group members. Here's my members. I would duplicate And we now have number 10. I would open that up. It, style sheet is correct. I'll change the name to, um, what was it called? Textured, that's right, textured four. And the name of this is really up to you. Um, it's, there's nothing specific needed there. It's just whatever you want it to be. And then under files, we do need it to match exactly to the name of the style sheet, so I would call it textured4.css and then save. Again, that would create a new variation under header background, and now we see textured4. Now, if I wanted this, um, the naming here to match with kind of the naming conventions here, then I would simply adjust this, and so I'll give it a capital T space and then the Roman numeral for save and now we kind of see it look the same way as the others and now I could select that now I've not actually added an image and so this doesn't really make a change but you get the picture so it's pretty simple to um, to add your own variations especially if there's very little work to be done in modifying a CSS file. And most of these style sheets for variations are very, very simple. Like we saw here, there's just one thing to change. And so in a lot of cases, these styles are just very small adjustments that require very little editing. And so a combination of creating style sheets along with making those additions to the plist will allow you to create your own variations in a theme. And so We'll go ahead and wrap up this tutorial.